Hello my fellow YouTubers. This is me taking a walk through a Boeing 777-200 aircraft. It's just arrived from the Netherlands to Cape Town. To sort of give you an idea of a bit of a mess that gets left behind by the passengers. So yeah, this is what we call cattle class. <laughs> Taking a stroll while I wait to tow the aircraft uh, to the other side for its uh, place where it's going to go sleep for tonight until they come clean up tomorrow morning. It's a uh, Sunday night. Uh, it's approximately half past ten. So yeah, most of the cleaning staff have gone home with the COVID and cannot stay past curfew. We are taking a stroll towards the off galley. See what we can see. Here's the off right hand door. We have a picture of the bathroom. Some more galley equipment. Off left hand door. And they're off galley. Let's fill into coffee makers and ovens. Two or three ovens. Two more ovens this side. Another coffee maker. And all the cupboards below. Obviously another bathroom there in. Another one here. People leave behind quite a mess. See? Door three. Some more bathrooms in the middle. And some wheelchair access bathrooms. I don't know how you're supposed to do that here in this tiny gap. This is hardly shoulder width. This is the crew rest, which is locked. And I cannot go and show you what that looks like, unfortunately. Moving ahead. Here we're starting to get to the passengers that pay a little more for their seats. This is for the people with slightly more leg room. And their seat controls. Also have a remote control for the TV entertainment. And this is the forward door, fair eye off the ground. Just waiting for the guys to finish unloading. Forward galley. Of a view down the whole length of the aircraft. Forward galley. Doesn't look too bad for a long haul flight. 
also with its own ovens and boilers and kettles. And on this end they have their crew rest, which is also locked with a code, mechanical code. So I cannot show you what's going on in there. It's called the FAP flight attendance panel. to the cockpit area. It's an oversized 737. This is our little maintenance computer for the engineers. Sit in the back. Layouts are obviously sort of the same as uh, all the others here. You have your normal standard radios and nav equipment. The throttles. So I say it's basically an oversized 800. Similar screens, similar AJ clock. Also with these water flight controls, water flight controls are heading. It's not quite the dials and switches you have in an 800, it's a small push button there. I'll try and take a video of every little button. And then on the overhead, you have most of the circuit breaker panel. Gibbon box empty because I just installed them. The towing. I want to go find out where these guys are. It's home time. Here's me going back towards the cockpit because apparently you know, they've got us a tug. So you need to tell. Okay. The pop brake is still off. Uh, electric hydraulic pump on. Hydraulic pump on. And Peak on my on, and we're ready for time. Oh, that 
it's them calling for us to go. And away we go. Shouting in here. Because it's a bit cheaper for the airlines to park the aircraft in a non prominent bay. So I don't know what they charge per hour or per half an hour, but yeah, it's cheaper to park on this side of the airport than it is to park right in front of the building. so I can actually push the brakes. Oh, 
all the other things have been turned off. Now it's just a quick turn off of the APU. We don't have to do this, but I like to turn the, the bleed air off on the APU. APU gen stays on, on auto, does its own thing. So we just select the APU to off. Should go through a slightly cool down sequence. And then turn itself off. Uh, let's see if I can see it before it goes off. Uh, what have we got there? Ah, oh, I missed it. I missed it. And then all these sort of faults come up very quickly. Flight manage computer, cabin altitude. Electrical buses, data link systems. Oh, the guy's asking the clearance already. Okay, now I'm just going to wait till the APU shuts itself down and then wait another 30 or 40 seconds or so for the APU doors to close and then go home. Safe evening, guys.